ages since I've done it from my desk. Look at me hair, it's huge. Hi, howdy, howdy, howdy. It's me, it's Claire. I feel like I'm back. I don't actually know if you emotionally felt like I went away, but I feel like I'm back. I think I always say it's like waves of the ocean. We'll come in and we'll go out, come in and we'll go out. So I'm pleased actually that I have this momentum, that I, this expectation from yourselves as members for me to turn up. And yes, I could do it once a week, but I want to do it regular. I want it, you to know that I'm going to be here on a Monday, a Wednesday and a Friday with something fresh because there is a different energy when it's fresh, right? And I might actually be sharing some of these videos on YouTube eventually. I shouldn't have touched my hair, it's even worse now. Probably not this one because of my hair, state, the state of my hair today. Um, I will be sharing some of these because I'm, I'm hopefully learning from them. I'm learning to get slicker with my messaging. So today I'm hoping you're gonna help us out. Because tonight you might have noticed I will be live at six o'clock with my online book launch. So some of you are here because I met you on tour, right? I'm getting used to using this language because it's really working. Just today, because of someone I met in that field in North Allerton, <clears throat> they have inspired a friend who was already in the group to reach out. So it's happening, it's working. And I think that human connection, me coming out from behind the screen and, you know, sharing my sober joy, my energy, sharing my way of looking at things seems to be inspiring the exact right client that I want to work with. So who am I looking to work with? I want women who are ready because they know they deserve more. So I'm not really here with this membership to help people who are still stuck on the cycle of drinking on a daily, you know, weekly basis and that they're, they're stuck in that rut. I hope to have already inspired you either by you reading the book or meeting me in person or jumping on a Zoom call. So you really get a, a sense of how much I care about your situation and how this is turning up for you because so many of we are in a similar situation, whether that be in our health, our wealth, or our relationships. And we believe that we're stuck and we believe that we are the only one who is in that situation. It's not true. It's just not true. So you're not on your own. There's nothing that needs to be fixed. You've just forgotten how marvelous you are. You've just forgotten how amazing you already are. So today I wanna to challenge you to, find an example of when you've actually said I deserve better than this this isn't good enough for me this doesn't look like how I planned my life like look for an example of when you've done this before this isn't your first rodeo I'm sure that you've broken away from relationships whether they're with girlfriends or boyfriends or husbands or you know, just feeling like you know that you're not being treated how you deserve. So are you, whilst we're talking about relationships, treating yourself how you deserve to be treated? Are you sitting waiting for somebody else to tell you that you deserve more? Are you hoping that somebody else is going to parent you and someone's going to step in and say, that's enough for you? Or are you really going to start being responsible for looking after yourself and thinking, I deserve more? And giving yourself that patience and understanding that you would give to somebody else whilst you discover what it is that you really want and who it is that you really want to be. Right? And it's not easy. It's not easy. And it's an ongoing, it's an ongoing process, right? Because as you get to one level, you know you can do better. So then you want to change other things in your life and other things and you just keep upgrading and up leveling. And you never really get to the, the, the end goal isn't really the goal. The goal is the process because we need to feel purposeful. 
And what better purpose could you have than to create a life that you love? So are you living the life that you love? If you are and you're enjoying yourself and you're drinking a glass of wine and nothing's getting in your way, then you've actually tuned into the wrong show. But if you're feeling like that discontent and if you're coming up against some sort of like, I don't know, just the same old, same old, and you're just feeling like nothing's really wrong, but nothing's really right, and you know that you deserve more, you remember that it should be better than this, you're remembering that, then this is the right place for you to come because we can look at your health, can it be better? What would you like to improve? How would you like it to look? You know, it doesn't have to happen overnight and anybody who's been anywhere near a gym before knows it doesn't happen after one session. And nor will this. This is going to take work and it's going to take attention and it's going to take focus and it's going to take you believing that you deserve that time. And all we're trading is £33 a month. If you're on the basic membership, it's £33 a month, which I had said that I was going to put it up on my birthday, but I might stretch that to the 1st of July. I do have some members leaving. If you're leaving, please can you put a shout out as to how wonderful you found the experience. And, you know, because I want people to know that can come and go. I want you to think of this a little bit like Slimming World. So you feel like I want the accountability. I'm committing to myself. I know that I will show up if I pay. If I pay, I will pay attention. You know, this is accountability, connection and support, but I need you to use it. I need you to lean in and to share where you're coming up against things so that I can turn around and deliver direct to your heart from mine how I would go about looking at it. Because unless you share, it could be that just things are okay, everything's just fine, you know. Most women I speak to, the relationship that they're in, probably second time round, they've been around the block, they're not putting up with anything that's really, you know, really, really uncomfortable. They're actually questioning how comfortable they're feeling and whether or not they want more passion, more love, more excitement, more adventure. But I want to remind you that that doesn't have to come from him. That could come from you. That could come from how you would like life to look. So if you're complaining this weekend that your other half's going out playing golf and he's got his pals and he's doing this, he's doing that, he's created the life that he loves. You've possibly given him space to do that. What have you been doing while he's doing that? What are you doing to create the life that you love? And then it's a case of saying, can these lives we weave together or not? You know, so don't feel like you stay, you're staying stuck because you feel that the other people around you aren't, you know, you're waiting for them to do something. Like, really wake up and think about the times before. Did somebody else come and knock on your door and do it for you? My question is probably not. You maybe felt supported, but you did the hard work. You made the changes. You were the one who knew that things weren't going well. And that you wanted more, you desired more. Often that feeling of boredom and discontent is because we don't have a purpose. We don't feel like we're achieving anything. We're not having anything to fight for. Like think about it, especially, you know, as mums, we're, we're learning all the time. We're learning the next stage of development. We're learning about them learning to talk, learn what they should eat, we're walking and negotiating school and, you know, what clothes and have we got enough money. We're constantly, like, feathering the nest, making sure, that, you know, keeping the wolf from the door. And if you find that all of that is just melting away and you're left here thinking, well, what about me? What's next for me? you're in control of that think of all the energy and the time and the focus that you've spent on other people like it's okay and it's allowed for you to spend that now on yourself so by starting this process by being open to transformation open to change open to being inspired you're well on your way so just keep tuning in stay present reach out in the group tell your friends share 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 
and get your nose in that book. I will be coming on live in the group tonight with a longer session. Um, and I'm going to be sharing little bits out of the book there to try and inspire some more of those women who are sitting there just waiting. And they just need to take this step over just this invisible line to say, I deserve this. I'm committing to this. I'm going to pay and I'm going to pay attention. So thank you for being inspired. Thank you for investing in yourself. And I hope that's set you up for the weekend. I'll see you later. Bye from me.